Let's take a look at some of the tools with inside the 1001 Bit Tools plugin. Just started a new document. Now, the tool set has a lot of different drawing tools, and you can actually go on the developer's website and watch some of the videos of how the tools actually work. Now, I mostly use the tools towards the later end of here, and these are more of the architectural 3D tools. The first one is this one. Go ahead and click it. It allows you to create vertical walls. And in this case, you can define a wall thickness and a wall height. After you draw it, you can actually make it as a group, which is great, keeps it isolated. And here you can just click build wall. And now wherever you click, it's going to build the wall based off of those dimensions. I use this quite a lot if I'm importing a 2D CAD file, and then you can just trace over the line work. To finish off the walls, all you have to do is just double click. You'll notice it creates it as a group, and it keeps all your edges nice and clean. The other tool that I like is this one here. It's the Create Wall Openings. And in this case, let's create a wall opening that's three feet wide by seven feet tall, and then click Create Opening. And now it'll place your cursor in the bottom left hand corner, and you can simply double click to create an opening. Click the tool again. Click Create Opening, and click another one. The next tool is the Door Frame tool. Now to get this to work, you first need to draw a rectangle around the face. And notice that we drew this in the front of the face here. Take the Select tool and click on the front face, and then click on the Door Frame icon. The Door Frame icon has three options. You can create a simple rectangular frame, a beveled edge frame, or a recessed and extruded frame. Now in most cases, I usually just stick with the rectangular frame. However, if you are building a more detailed model, you can certainly use a beveled edge or a recessed edge. You can also determine all the values here like the depth, the recessed beveled extrusion, the frame width, and the recessed bevel extrusion width, which is this W2. Now the most important critical thing here is to choose the door frame location in relation to the selected face. In our object, we want to put this in the back. Just click Create, and notice it creates the geometry for us. Now if you placed it incorrectly, in this case we have, you can simply just take the Move tool and just move this back. Let's move along and take a look at some of the tools to create window openings.